That's a little bit as to uh, the physical uh, construction. Uh, now let's go on to um, the next transparency. Um, this uh, device we call the uni uh, unidirectional device. And this is because we've observed that the inert gas effect runs parallel to the lines of magnetic flux. So where there's a magnet inserted into each side, then uh, we'll get uh, an inert gas energy that's parallel to the lines of magnetic flux, which are moving this way. So the energy tends to be emitted out each side. So this is a diagram of the inside of the device, very simplified. So you see the hollow chamber connected to a, a valve on the top. And the idea is that I can then introduce uh, inert gases in various combinations, uh, different uh, pressures and so on, and observe effects by putting a magnet in each side that's uh, held in with a little screw. Now, uh, the idea here is that uh, the uh, energy as it uh, comes out of it can then be felt by people and used in different ways. Uh, but one way that uh, we found it very useful is to observe that the um, apparent release is in a cone that exists for about a 20 degree angle. So if you are very close to the device, then you generally would experience it only within a narrow radius of the ends. And as you get further and further away, that uh, expands. Uh, let's go on to the next uh, transparency. They're going to come really fast here. Um, the next one is another type of device that I've constructed that is a completely different way of uh, working very with this. A large flat plane was also a sphere, was connected into itself. And so you might imagine then that if uh, this uh, sphere was large enough, the uh, beings uh, on flatland would never be aware of its curvature. And such then is a way of getting at your understanding of curved space in the third and fourth dimension and the awareness that pops out of Einstein's equations that space and time are essentially curved. Another interesting thing, let's uh, go on to the next transparency. Another interesting thing though is to imagine that in the world of flatland, vibrations can be set up by the various forms of energy that uh, might be imparted into it. Uh, the obvious one is if uh, somebody interacting with the flat world pulled on the uh, space that it, it exists in. So you could get then vibrations, and that's what I'm showing here. As if by pulling on it, you could get a longitudinal vibration. By moving it sideways, you could get a transverse vibration. But uh, the interesting part now is what happens if you begin to move the flatland world up and down.